We're so glad that you joined us for worship this morning. Uh, as we gather together, let's sing of the great love with which God has loved us, singing, Love Lifted Me. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply sank within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry, from the waters lifted me, now sing and I, love lifted me, love lifted me, when nothing else could help, love lifted me, love lifted me, love lifted me, when nothing else could help. song. What a beautiful song, Love Lifted Me. You know, what's interesting is, is early on in, in our beginning of church attendance, or at least as I remember as a little child, that was one of the first songs that I can remember us singing over at, I believe it was Yeoman's Chapel Baptist Church in Blackshire. Um, Love Lifted Me. If you look on your bulletin cover, look, look at that. The one who believes in me, as the scripture has said, will have streams of living water flow from deep within him. Is there anybody within the sound of my voice, that doesn't want to have Jesus so insaturated in you that it's as though it's a well and he's just springing up every single day. He's just coming forth and he is overflowing and people are experiencing it and people have the opportunity to drink from him all because that you are walking in obedience and you love him so much. Anybody? Well, how about this? When you look at that bulletin cover, who wants to jump into that picture right there? Any besi anybody besides me? Some of you want to jump in there with some waders on and go fishing, but that... It's an incredible picture, but I tell you what, that verse means even more. I hope you are enjoying these bulletin covers as much as I do. Listen, welcome. Welcome this morning. Listen, we are God's people, God's family. We're the ecclesia, remember? We gather together. I want you to just imagine for a moment this is God's living room, and we're coming together, and we're going to praise him, and we're going to worship the Father, all right? That's what we're going to do together. That's what we come here to do, and praise God we get the opportunity to do it with one another. Hey. If you're, for, if you're new with us this morning, if you will notice in the bulletin, there's this little piece right here. You can tear it off. You can fill this out and put it in the offering plate. I want to know that you were with us this morning, and I can't get around to everybody. At least I'm going to try to, but if I don't, I want you to fill this out and put it in our offering plate so I can know that you were here. It means a lot to all of our family, okay? Fill that out. Listen, there are a lot of wonderful things going on in our church. You can read the bulletin, but a few things that I want you to know about. First of all, is that today, or this evening, we have our Valentine's banquet. 
Our Valentine's Banquet is a youth fundraiser for our church so that our youth can continue to do some really cool things and to reach out into this community to reach more youth and to compel them to come to the house of the Lord. So this is our opportunity to give a couple of dollars and to support our youth ministry, all in the theme of a Valentine's Banquet. Now, at this point, the sign-up has been taken away. It's been removed because they're trying to make sure they have enough food for the number of people. But Justin saw me, and he says, hey... Listen, if anybody is still interested, please have them come see me specifically because I know how much food we have and I know how many people we have coming and I know if we can allot for some more to come. So if you're still interested, he's saying to go see him before you leave today because he wants to make sure you have a place at the table, okay? And we need you. So if you know Justin, great. If you don't know Justin, come see me and I'll make sure that I put you together so that you'll be a part of the Valentine's Banquet tonight. We have two more really important announcements, so I'm going to ask Sherry and I'm going to ask Dylan, ever who gets to me first. They're both behind me. All right, so Sherry's here. Sherry, will you come up to the mic and will you give us your announcement? Good morning. Everybody looks so beautiful this morning. We are so blessed here at Southside. We have a growing number of families with children coming, and I'm excited about that. And we currently have about 16 volunteers that serve in children's ministry during church services every week. Isn't that wonderful? Let's give them a hand. We have even more than that that serve <clears throat> at the Good News Club on Tuesdays. And that is a huge ministry. We have, if we had half of those children show up in our church on Sunday morning, we would need a lot more volunteers with our children. Um, there's so many ways to serve in children's ministry, and we have teachers on Wednesday nights. We have two really great energetic guys who handle the recreation time where we do games with our children. I'm so thankful for them. I'm thankful that I don't do that because <laughs> the kids would probably be gone somewhere, but I'm, I'm just really thankful for all our workers, and we have a children's ministry appreciation breakfast coming up. Next Sunday morning at 8.30, if you have not been tapped on the shoulder or handed a, a little slip that says, hey, we appreciate you and you are serving in children's ministry, I do apologize. That means I missed you, but I don't want to miss you. We have a sign-up sheet in the vestibule if you'll just put your name down and how many's coming to breakfast with you. So we'll have a head count. We'll get the food right. If you are considering or would like to consider working in children's ministry, we would love to welcome you at our appreciation breakfast. Um, since we are growing, we do have several spots that are available right now to add to our children's ministry workers. It's just, it's a great service for the Lord. It is a great way to show the love of Jesus to little hearts and minds that, may not have been introduced to him yet or just need to know a little more about him before they make their decision. And we've had some recently make a decision for the Lord, and I'm looking at one of them right now, and that just blesses my heart. And we've had some more come and be baptized. You may have been here for some of that. No greater blessing in the world than to know that my children are serving the Lord and that we'll spend eternity together. And that can start right there in children's ministry, whether it be Sunday mornings on Sunday school time or during church time in children's church or Wednesday nights or the Good News Club. But we would love to welcome you to the team and give you the opportunity to serve. So if you will see me or just sign up on that sheet for breakfast next Sunday morning, I will talk with you then. Thank you. One more announcement this morning. Uh, last week I shared a little bit about the Walk for Life. Mile Walk, uh, we'll be doing it in Brunswick, uh, which is close to here. We're going to be traveling over to Brunswick that morning. We will meet here at the church at 8 that morning. It starts at 9. Does it take about an hour to get to Brunswick from here? Yes? Uh, okay, perfect. 30, 40 minutes, that's even better. So we're going to meet here at 8 o'clock uh, on Saturday, March the 7th to go to that. If you'd like to register to walk, you can go to helloskylark.com slash walk and register to walk or just see me and I'll help get you set up with that. Um, if you'd like to give, 
towards that cause. We have a team. Our church has a team on their website. Um, we'll, I'll be sharing that link through Facebook today on my Facebook as well as the church's Facebook to kind of get that going. Or you could just give the money directly to me, and I'll make sure that gets to Skylark. Um, and all that money goes straight to Skylark so that they can continue to help uh, mothers and expecting mothers and all these women who uh, have uh, unplanned pregnancies or pregnancies that they're not prepared for at the time because these children are worth it. These children are worth every penny. They're worth every step of this walk. And it's time for us to put our walk where our talk has been. So you can see me or you can find those links on Facebook or visit helloskylark.com slash walk. All right, one, one, more, one more announcement. If you all are aware that our brother, um, George Griffiths, is recovering well, I'd say it's a good, he says he's getting 50% better every day. I said, George, do you realize that means you'll never be 100% better if you're, it's always 50%? Anyways, he, he kind of laughs. But no, his report is he's getting better. He wanted to be here today, but he was advised that with the flu season and just having had open heart surgery, it's probably wise that he stay home for about another week so that he heals up real well before he's back with us. But today, as we exit, um, we go out into the mission field, we are going to take up a special offering to help George and um, to bless George. So just kind of keep that in, in your mind and pray about what God would, would have you to give to him. All right, now we are about to have an opportunity to stand and fellowship with one another. Let's pray together first. So will you join me in praying? Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we love you. We praise you. We worship you, Lord. We thank you that you give us the opportunity to come together, Lord, at this moment. And Father, just fill us with your Holy Spirit to overflowing. And God, I pray you would, even now, Lord, be preparing us to, to hear your word, Lord, as, as we have prepared ourselves to pour out in listening, Lord, and singing and encouraging and praying. God, we want to just give you, all of us this morning, as our form, as our act of worship, because we love you so much. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, let's fellowship. Thank you. 